Hello there and welcome to the workshop. Now today we're going to give this brand new MIDI CNC router which is a DIY uh, router. If you're interested the, all the plans and information of parts are available on my Patreon pages. So today we're going to give it its first real test run and we're going to give it a, a 3D carving to do on this piece of pine and we're going to carve in 3D the Gryffindor emblem which you can see on the TV screen at the back there which I put together in Cavco Maker Plus uh, and again uh, underneath the video you'll find a 5% discount code and a website to go to to use that code it only works on that website it's the uh, United States uh, Cavco distribution network okay so the first thing we do is I'm going to attach this to the bed all nice and square and then we will home the router so our first job now is to home the router simply done push shift until this goes dim and then push that button there and select here return to home press ok and it'll do its thing okay so the next thing we're going to do now is I'm going to give it a work offset now to do that we just change the coordinate system here so it goes white and it comes up here you can see it comes up indicates that this is now the work coordinates so now we'll set the zero for the work coordinates and I'll just set the tool up here for first of all the X Now the Y, if you turn the, the cutters, you know, there's two cutters on this, so if you turn it one way you can sight the center up, which I've marked with a little cross here. And the Z is very simple. I'll we'll go a little bit slower for that, like I've just adjusted the, this to a slower level. Just come under here, just do a little bit faster at the moment. Now slow it down. And what you're doing, you, you, you bring this tool down so it just grabs the paper and it feels like a, a bit of a magnet on there. I can just feel it there grabbing it now. And that's about right. Turn that off. Always turn your MPG, that's what this is, MPG off when it's not in use. So now, the, I'll just turn you to the screen so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this time you press this button because I'm, I'm now going to select each axis and zero it. So we're in work coordinates. Okay, so we're going to zero the X. You can actually do it either by pressing this wheel, pressing the OK, and using the selector or the the uh, arrows to to um, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so here we go. We're going to press OK because this is now highlighted in red goes green, that goes to zero, down to the next one, Y, OK, and Z. 
So now this is now set the work offset or the work coordinates, otherwise known as the G54. So now we'll take this up out of the way and we'll do the first cut. Okay, so we'll insert a thumb drive. Um, open file that's just open the thumb, dr thumb drive and here is the two cuts so we want the rough end which is cut number one 12 millimeter and we're going to open that and to make sure that's in there if we press this this shows you what G code the, the controller is looking at and there it is there and it's the correct one to get out of that, press escape and now we can run the code. Oh, first of all I'm going to, like I normally do with either Mac 3 or Mac 4 or whatever I'm using, I'm going to slow the feed rate down till I know how it's cutting. And to do that you just do this, if you notice the feed rate coming down in percentage terms, I'm going to take it down to about 40% Bring it in quietly and we'll see how it goes. check on the the motor and I think it was like 49 degrees C after you know nearly an hour's running uh, under load with a half inch cutter <laughs> did it without really thinking about it um, really pleased with that little 800 watt motor um, really pleased with the way it's performing I mean that's the first cut the first you know the first real cut As you can see, uh, this is now the following day. Um, what I wanted to do was see whether the controller actually remembered where this was, whether it, it sort of holds it in its flash memory after being powered down. 
and um, so now I'm going to repower everything up and just change the tool and see if it does know exactly where it is. Okay, let's fire it up and see if it remembers where it is. Um, y zero X, well that's pretty well zero as well. 10 millimeters above the zero point. It seems to remember fine where it is. Um, if you press shift, now that is the machine coordinates. Now that's telling me that uh, it, the machine hasn't homed yet after turning uh, the controller on. Um, that's relative coordinates, which we're not using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all home the machine, then tell the machine to go. I'll tell the road ahead to go to back to the the zero point of the work. It's okay. <laughs> Reference code. Let's see what happens now. Perfect. Okay, so this is a three millimeter or eighth of an inch collet. So we pop that in there like that. Make sure that we have enough tool sticking out. The idea is to get as much as the tool into the collet as you can. And just leave the cutting as much cutting the edge out as you can. That's a firm. Okay, so the next job to do is to zero this tool now to the top of the work. Um, now, I can do this on any part of the material here, here, doesn't really matter. Um, and obviously if I didn't ha have any of this untouched uh, material, you just get an odd scrap of material same size just put it on the bed and touch off that um, I do intend in the very near future to make uh, an you know auto tool setter for this just grabbed it there so we can now zero the Z and I'll show you how to do that okay to zero the Z we just go here to this one and then select, we can either use the select wheel here or we can use the up down arrows like that and we can then press OK to zero the Z and it's as easy as that so now we'll put in the new program okay it's reading it so we escape out of that window, open file, and here it is here, so, and open file, and it's the second operation, that one there, okay, and okay, and if you want to see the file just press this button and here it is here and to escape out of that you do that okay so now all we're going to do is cut it so let's do the finish cut Thirty 
ready to sink because it's a very small tool. Uh, I don't want it to just go in and dig and snap the tool off. So um, let's see how it performs. So this is outside uh, my workshop now and I'm just taking a, a base level sound reading. So it's fairly quiet. So I just go in. The MIDI CNC router is actually running in the workshop. It's around about 80.
up. There you go. The first real test run of this new or newly finished little MIDI CNC router and and it's machining exactly as I designed it for and planned for. This was cut at 25 millimeters per second. Maybe we'll be able to work it up to somewhere between 40 and 50 millimeters per second. Depends on what the job is, I suppose. Um, but it's, you know, it's done as good a job as my larger professional 6012. 3D machining code. Nearly 15,000 lines of code. Did it without thinking about it. Um, very controllable. Everything's very, very manageable. The G-code, I've seen people say, they, oh, it's jittery. Well, I don't know where you're getting your, how you're writing your G-code. Uh, this has come straight out of Cavco Maker Plus. Incidentally, I'll leave a link uh, down below this video, um, above the comment section, in the description, where you, if you're interested in any of the Cavco products, um, there's a five percent discount there for you. Whether it's monthly, yearly, buy it outright, right across the board, even the professional, full-on Cavco, you get five percent off it. Uh, but you must go to the uh, the address that's with that five percent code. You can't sort of go to your local Cavco distributor and expect it uh, you know to get that five percent because that's not going to happen <laughs> it's uh, with that address that's directly to the american distributor but you can order it worldwide on that address and receive it and receive your five percent off okay um Kavco, yes i wrote i i put this 3D model together in Cavco Maker Plus because in Cavco Maker Plus you can actually make 3D models and you know manipulate them well you can you can manipulate uh, the 3D models in Cavco Maker you know you can uh, import one from somewhere else it doesn't have to be in Cavco and then sort of put it together and do the feeds and speeds and set it all up and in fact the next video after this um, I will put this together in Cavco Maker Plus and show you how to set up the everything speed feeds pick the tools create a tool um, pretty well everything <laughs> that you would need to know uh, to do a 3d machine a 3d model bring it into Cavco set it up in the right orientation okay bring it up to the right level although probably I could have brought this one up a bit deeper um, and write the codes and export the codes and that's another thing Cavco um, there's no special post processor I just use the standard Cavco standard G-code post processor go straight into this without a fault so for those who are having trouble say that they're having trouble I don't know why uh, I really don't um, you know, there's all sorts of con conflicting statements that are being made on the internet. Well, to be quite honest with you, I haven't come across one of them that is 
factual not with the new controllers so and I highly you know I mean if you want an offline controller you know I mean I, I it's a damn sight cheaper than anything else that you'll see out there you know it's it's cheaper than setting up Mark 4 uh, or Mark 3 for that matter you don't have to have a computer it's standalone you don't have to have a screen and some of the other um, should we say offline controllers that uh, you'll see um, is going to cost you over a thousand dollars by the time you set it up this is a this is a, um, a five axes controller the nearest one that's any good to this you're going to pay over a thousand dollars for you know so anyway I can't find fault with the controller it's accepting G code it runs 3D G code absolutely no problem whatsoever very controllable I absolutely love it <laughs> tell you the truth and I think for future projects I will I'll buy another one <laughs> I don't see why not it's does the business so the next video will be a Cavco video putting this together in Cavco Maker Plus and um, well if you've liked the video please like and subscribe and I would like to thank the patrons for supporting this channel it's the patrons behind this channel that keeps it going and enables me to bring you things like this so if you'd like to become a patron the patron information will be down in the video description area so thank you for joining me and I hope you have enjoyed watching this first 3D test run of this MIDI CNC so if you're interested in a MIDI CNC router that I built for under a thousand dollars the plans, parts list, where I bought them from, what I paid for are on my patron pages and they are available to patrons so thank you for joining me and it's bye for now Thank you.